Today we're going to be talking about the latest and greatest app for choosing colour schemes on your minis. What's up Denizens? I'm Jason the Hobby Viking and you're watching Denim Plastic. Now if you've frequented the Warhammer pages on the likes of Instagram, Facebook or Reddit, uh, you've most likely seen this exact miniature floating around just in different colour schemes and there's a reason for that. The reason is Impcat, not to be confused with Impact, uh, thank you autocorrect. Impcat is an app produced by Design Bench Immersive Agency and it stands for Interactive Miniature Painting Catalog. The sole purpose of Impcat is to create colour schemes for your minis in a simple way. Today I'm going to take you for a tour around Impcat and show you just how easy it is to create a colour scheme of your own. Okay, first of all guys, I want to give a shout out to Fohammer for his blog post on Imcat. Uh, this is where I found out all about Imcat and uh, how to use it. So yeah, I'll link the description down below and you can, you can find out all about it, what it can do, how to make your own if you want. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll cover most of it in the video. So let's get into it. So there you have it, there's Impcat there, you can find it in the App Store for about the price of a coffee. It's not free, but it's well worth it. When you load up Impcat for the first time, you'll be greeted with the Commissar model. Now Impcat is supported by Artel W Miniatures and by Vallejo Colors, so you'll be able to use some of their, their miniature range in Impcat. So you'll see here when, uh, if you just hit the, the button up the top where the Commissar's name is, you'll be taken to the model screen. There's six uh, models loaded into Impcat already, um, and these can be loaded anytime, just like this. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see imported SVG templates. So people are making their own uh, miniatures, taking photos of it, taking it into Photoshop and editing them out so that they can be used in MCAT. And you'll find out more about that on Fohammer's blog if you search that. I'll talk more about that a bit later. If you scroll down further, you'll find the online DLC. Any of these models can be downloaded free of charge. So you've got the Artel range, got Gravity Bay, Scale 75's Fallen Frontiers and Signum Games. So you can download any of those. What you won't find in here are any GW models at the moment. I'll put a link in the description also where you can find the files for this. You can also find that link on Fohammer's blog. But um, I'll take you for a bit of a tour around it. Let's start with that Commissar model. So when it first comes in, here you go. Down in the bottom corner here, we've got the single selection, multiple selection, and entire model selection. So you just click on the model here. You'll select a single area that will color. And if I go in, I can pick anything here from, you'll see at the top, the Vallejo model color range. I click on that also. You've got all these other colors. Citadel range isn't in uh, Imcat by, um, by startup, but you can import those uh, color ranges as well. May as well click on that, and show you all about it. So here we have it. Here's the, the Citadel range. You've got you know, your sprays, your base colors, all these standard 2019 color range. The layer range. If you keep going down, you've got your dry brush range and your metallics. Uh, oh, and the shades. So let's go ahead and just pick a model color. Um, let's start with Doomball Brown. So clicking on that will shade the area, the color you wanted. Uh, and if you look down the bottom, you've got the base color, a layer which layers another color over the top, a shade layer and the highlights. So any of these can be turned on or off. Turn that and see what's left with the, 
the rest of the colors. And you can see what they do there. Now each of these can be uh, changed individually as well. So you could have the Doom Ball brown base color and have a blue highlight trim if you wanted. So if we go in here, maybe select the chest plate, maybe we want something else the same color as we want to do that. I'm sorry, this can be a bit fiddly on my little tablet. Say we want uh, the sash there as well. So that's what multiple selection does, simple enough. Come in here again, maybe let's go Sons of Horus Green. And there you have it guys, um, simple as that. Uh, up in the top left corner, you have a menu where you can invert the selection that you've got. So you, you know, maybe you've done a couple of things and then you want to invert it to cover the rest of the model. You can do that. Um, there's a random mode where it'll randomize colors of what selections you've got. Maybe it'll come up with a new color scheme you haven't thought of. You can save the configurations. Uh, color creator here. You can go in and you've got your hue and saturation colors. Um, so you can slide that around, create any kind of color you want. Simple as that. Um, you've also got color mixer where you'll choose two different colors. Say, let's go Screaming Skull and Horus. And then it comes up with your color mix ratio. So you could select anything along that line to create new colors for you. And then we've also got the toggle watermark. So that will, uh, if you come back here, it'll toggle the ink cat uh, symbol up in the top there. And if we go to generate shopping list, it'll come up with all the colors you've used. So you can take that to your local hobby store and pick up you know, any, any of those colors. And last but not least, we've got how, how does this work? So if you forget what does what, you've got that quick little tutorial menu there to have a look at. So that's pretty much it. Um, simple as that. Like I said, with uh, importing other models in, you go to that side on your phone or your tablet, whatever your device is, save that file to the, the device and um, use either import button here or you put it into a certain folder. I think that is on iPhone um, and it'll appear in the menu here. And uh, let's go ahead and create a color scheme for a Prime Iris model. Here you have it. Um, I was looking the other day, uh, I saw Captain America, so let's, what, wouldn't it be cool if I could create a color scheme based on Captain America? So let's start off with a blue. Make a few selections here. Actually turned a few of those off. Let's go. Single selection, and go multiple selection, so we can do it all at once. Maybe uh, skull there, some white knee pads. Uh, maybe not that. Maybe the balls in there. Uh, we'll scroll through here, find a white. Lovely, maybe the like. Select the trims. Oops, again, with my right device. Can be a bit fiddly on a small device, big fingers. Selecting a few of these now. Uh, let's make that red and his boots red. So let's uh, choose what I can red. Yeah, it's already starting to look pretty cool. Choose that to be red as well. Nice little feature also in here. Uh, if we scroll up to the top, 
uh, you can see you've got uh, along here's the recently added so any colors I've used will start appearing there and you've also got pick from model so if I go there and say I wanted that faceplate white I could just pick the color that I used on the knee pad and there we have it and let's go same thing again pick from model white done maybe we'll have a silver on the gun there or not lead belcher don't want something just selected again it'll pop back off let's go that red again back to red and there you go simple as that guys pretty easy pretty fun and a great way to come up with new color schemes for your minis uh, without having to waste the paint and find out that the the color scheme didn't look as good as you thought um, yeah, so there you go. Check it out. I'll um, pop, pop all the links in the description. Check out Fohammer's blog. It's a great source of um, knowledge there. And um, yeah, if you like the video, please subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.